Hello there, my beautiful Cancer friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, on October the 10th, we have a very powerful portal that is going to be open and active for us. This is the 1010 portal. It's a portal of the manifester and the creator. It's bringing in an energy of completion and new beginnings. And this is where spirit is going to encourage us to recognize the power within us of the creator. And this is where the manifesting, that energy of infinite possibilities is there. So spirit is actually asking us to unleash our energies and and become the co-creator of our desired reality. Now this is going to be a really good day to light candles, set intentions, and what I'm going to do for everyone is create a reading around this portal activation where we actually all take part together in a manifestation ritual including candles. So mark your calendars down. I don't know what date it's going to be yet actually. It's going to be this weekend. So keep an eye out for this everyone. All right, so what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a manifestation oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what energy is coming in for you. I'm going to pull a bonus card from the messages from the spirits of nature oracle and then close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Cancer, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this 1010 portal. So we are getting for you. Leave the past behind you. It's time for you to leave the past behind you. The message here is if you focus on the difficulties from the past, you're just bringing more difficult, uh, difficult circumstances to you now. If you hold a grudge or blame someone for something in the past, that negative energy harms you. Let it all go, no matter what it is. Do it for you and watch your life get better in every area. So once again, if you focus on the difficulties from the past, you're just bringing more difficult circumstances to your, to your now. If you hold a grudge or blame someone from something in the past, that negative energy harms you. Let it all go, no matter what it is. Do it for you and watch your life get better in every area. Very powerful message here for you. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. So that's completion. Spirit is asking you to really close out that past life energy. And look at this, Eight of Cups, confirming this. So powerful message. They're very clear about what it is that they would like you to do. But again, it's a choice that you have to make, right? But know that this will change your life. So the eight of cups, you're walking away from things that no longer serve your higher purpose. You are saying goodbye and you're closing the door. Okay, so the eight of cups to start. We also have the knight of wands. They want you to take action on the dreams and the desires you have. You have to refocus yourself. And there is a reprogramming, a mind sh um, mindset shift coming here as well with this. We've got the moon in the background, so your path is being illuminated here. A lot of information, a lot of different things that are gonna happen with these, this energy of the Knight of Wands for you. Okay, and next we have the Two of Swords. So, we have a split on your path, a crossroads you might be finding yourselves in. Maybe you have to make a choice somewhere in your life. Maybe you have to walk down a new road, a new path. Maybe there's fear here. Maybe you're feeling uncertain. I feel that the answers or the guidance that you are seeking resides within you. You can't look for it externally. It's inside of you. So I feel that spirit is calling you to tune out the noise in order for you to really uh, gain clear understanding or a receive a clear message from spirit. 
Okay, now I want you to use your own intuition with my reading as well. So whenever you see my cards popping up here on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now this is going to strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that everyone. These are so beautiful. You're going through a major change in your life, Cancer. That's all I'm seeing here. Um, and it's going to be a very powerful one at that. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. So what is happening in your lives, Cancer? What are these cards presenting? How are they showing up for you? So the Eight of Cups, I feel that some of you have um, gained awareness of the reality that you're living in. It's like, okay, this is, this is my reality right now. And you're maybe evaluating it. Maybe you're kind of giving it a little bit of thought to see whether or not you resonate with it. Maybe you clearly know that you don't resonate with it. And you're starting to look at all the things in your life that no longer um, re like align with that frequency that you're wanting to experience. So I feel that you're naturally starting to release energies, but also intentionally doing that. And Spirit wants you to intentionally set an intention to release whatever no longer serves you. This is where you're stepping into your own authentic, true energy as yourself. And anything that is not linked to your true self, I feel that it's shedding, it's falling away. It's meant to fall away. You're meant to close that chapter, right? Now is the time for you to do that. And, you know, spirit, I feel, is being a little bit more stern with some of you at this time. And that's going to show up in your external world because maybe there's some resistance there from you. Um, maybe fear of something. I don't know what this is. So spirit wants you to actually work on this. They want you to release fears. How do you release fears? I feel like I have a lot of fears. Um, you know, when I'm looking at doing something new in my life, maybe leaving a job, starting a new one. I usually do it because I know in my mind that's what I want to do. I have it set. So when I have it set, even though I'm afraid, I like make myself do it. And not everyone works this way. So you're going to have to share with me what your remedy is for yourself because we can try different ways to get over fears. This is the year you're meant to overcome your fears and make them your greatest strengths. This is the number eight in numerology, everyone. That is the power. And this is the power that you have right now that is available for you to tap into in order to make this change, to break free from everything that is keeping you away from living the life that you want to experience in your life, right? So have clarity on what that looks like. Right. What's happening now, the, now, another fast thing that's popping in here is you gain that reality. So, for example, you just manifested a reality and all of a sudden you're in this reality and you're kind of like, wait a minute, I didn't know it was going to be like this or I was in, no, not sure about this. Um, and it's different. And I'm getting a lot of different ways the Eight of Cups is showing up for some of you. So that's one scenario. So if you're unhappy with that, Spirit wants you to find that happiness that you're first seeking in that energy. I feel the parting way is the hard part. And this is why maybe you're not happy with the manifestation coming in because it was the, at the cost of something else. But that cost feels like a cost because you were giving energy and weight to it. So Spirit is saying... Release because it's no longer in alignment with you. You're stepping into your power. You're taking your power back here. So this could be you standing up for yourself. And maybe someone doesn't like that. And maybe there's a rift between you now, right? So this is the kind of energy that can come in for some of us. And this is, again, where spirit wants you to stand in your power. They want you to have those healthy boundaries up because this is what's going to shift things for you. I also feel that some of you are experiencing um, a lot of distractions in your life. And spirit is only showing you this because you're meant to recognize the amount of distractions that are in your life right now that are keeping you away from actually achieving your goals and your desired reality. It's because you're putting your energy into things that aren't serving your purpose, right? Distractions and things that take you away when you're busy and you're focused and all of a sudden this person calls, you don't really want to go, but because you're so sweet and so nice, you're like, you know what? I, I'd rather give up my own happiness and give it to this person. I don't know how many of you feel that you do this sometimes. So lots of things where the spotlight is being um, shined on 
And Spirit is really wanting you to look at all of these cups. I feel sometimes these are loved ones. Sometimes these are friends. This is where we give actual energy and love to, and it can be really hard parting from them. And sometimes what happens is we become a version of ourselves that isn't true to us because of the people that are in our lives, right? So this is where Spirit, again, is wanting you to step into your own power, your authentic self, and don't be afraid to be that version, right? People may be used to you as a different way, but now you're becoming this other version that is more aligned to you. And yes, some people are going to feel a certain way, but that's going to let you know who and what belongs in your life. Okay, so the Eight of Cups here, everyone. And we also have the Knight of Wands. You're going to see how quickly you start to move ahead. I'm getting a lot of deep connection with spirit here with this card. There's a sense of freedom. I'm also getting fear with this freedom. Uh, maybe you haven't experienced freedom before. Maybe it feels scary because maybe you're finding yourself alone in this freedom. I don't know what this is for you, but I'm picking up on a lot of different emotions that some of you might be feeling around this freedom. Like I'm finally starting to experience this. So there's a getting used to this energy. For some of you, you're meant to get used to it. Um, find ways to really connect with yourself, reconnect with yourself, find a way to, I feel this is an opportunity for you to find a way to love yourself again, okay? With a moon in the background, there is a deep um, inner introspective energy that is asking you to go inward to kind of release whatever it is. Again, it's coming through the Eight of Cups. Wow, that's a heavy energy. It's leaking into the Knight of Cups, everyone. Okay, so again, there's this need to release and let go and really seriously think of making that decision, choosing to release it and let it go, taking the action, uh, finding help or support to do this. Um, you're breaking free. There is a tie, a cord that you're about to cut here this month of October. It's again the energy, you're feeling this, and usually when this wave of energy comes in, especially with portals, any moon energies, they come in as this big wave and we feel things more intensely. So some of you are going to feel the intensity of wanting to be free from something, right? Find your freedom. You want to have like, it's like a stallion just running down the field, right? And there's a plan, like it, it feels like there's so much that is opening up in your brain, in your mind, all these thoughts, inspiration, and there's so much that you want to do and so much you can do. You're starting to realize there's so much you can do. That's that energy of the creator that is now unleashing itself through you, right? So this is where any kind of thoughts, anything that we're now wanting to focus on, set a goal, it's time to plan, it's time to strategize, it's time to organize, it's time to schedule, like all of these things. And I don't want to scare anyone with this energy, right? But it's just, uh, you might be feeling this. You might be like, okay, I need to declutter everything in my house right now. I need to reorganize because I, I, I feel three months before January, 2025, everyone, is a really good adjustment period to get used to this energy that we want to see ourselves in in January, right? So I feel that you're meant to take action, become an active participant in the co-creation of your desired life experience, okay? And this is where you're taking that step. And it doesn't have to be really quick or fast or a whole bunch of things. This could be one little baby step at a time. As long as you're moving towards your desired, as long as you're moving, that's all that counts, right? So I don't feel that spirit is pressuring you to do, any, do anything that you don't want to do, but they do want you to choose you. This is the two of swords. Choose yourself here. Choose the things that you never got a chance to choose because of whatever reason you had for not choosing them, right? These could be thoughts and fears, uh, people-pleasing energies, right? I feel someone feels caught in the middle somewhere. So who of you are, are feeling like you're caught in the middle? Perhaps you're uncertain because something's going to come at a cost if you choose to do this thing. Um, but I feel that, again, what Spirit was saying is you're putting too much weight on that cost. I just feel that... Um, it's so interesting because Spirit is showing me this um, big, heavy rock that is tied to your ankle. And you have the key to unlock it and let it go. So the choice is yours, as they're saying. You have the opportunity to let that go. But you have to go through the adjustment period of that release. And sometimes the boulder doesn't make us feel good about letting it go, right? So this is what they're showing me. And they want you to tap into that inner strength, that courage, because you have it right now. 
They want you to find it. They want you to get rid of everything that is on top of it and pull it out and use your light. They want you to use your light. You're being given an opportunity. Some of you are feeling it. Some of you are seeing signs everywhere. Communication. You're, you're even saying it to someone. Like I feel some of you are speaking to someone and sharing this. Like thoughts and words need to sync up. This was a message that came in my earlier readings here as a bigger message for light workers and chosen ones. Our words, our thoughts and our words need to match. So we're thinking something, sharing it with someone else, but we're actually in fact not doing the thing that we're saying. That, that now this is not everyone, this is some people I'm picking up on. And they want you to be aware of how you're showing up. Are you working against your desired reality? So this is really interesting. It's so uh, funny how this is coming in because I'm seeing someone that is flipping back and forth, going back to the past and worrying about that future or looking at the past, looking at the future, looking at the now, looking at the future. There's worry. It's almost like overthinking, playing different scenarios out. And I feel fear. The minute that fear sets in, all of a sudden you have these fear thoughts of all the things that could go wrong. And if you just stay here, at least everything is the way you know it to be. But you're not meant to know things the way they're meant to be because otherwise you remain there. You're meant to know things differently because that is where you're going is into this different energy. And you have to make the choice to do this. And whenever I make choices again, I just step into them. Um, I'm, I'm, I have fears, but I, I put that fearful Rhea. I'm like, okay, you know what, Rhea? You're a scaredy cat. You're going to have to sit right here for a second. I feel this is right, but I'm not going to let you get in the way. So I'm taking the wheel, taking the driver's seat, and I'm going to ride through whatever that is that might feel scary. And yeah, it might be lengthy. I might tumble over and all these things will happen, but I know that I'm going to get out on the other side. And just knowing that... I feel that I um, know myself, I know the energy that I can put out there and perhaps some of you are coming to a place in your life right now where you're going through an experience where you're having to learn more about yourself, right? And you're having to make choices that are based on what you need for yourself rather than others and this could be a new experience for some of you that you have to get used to, right? Sometimes it could be scary like, oh my gosh, I'm not used to this, what is this? I'm used to that, I'm going to go back over there. No, spirit is saying, no, you're in this new energy. So let's stay here. Let's explore it. Be a bit more curious. What can we do here? This is an adventure, right? So this is what spirit is really calling some of you to do is to embrace this energy of this new experience in your life that is different than what you're used to. And this is a sign that you're actually now moving towards that desired reality because that desired reality, especially if you're not living it, if you're not aligned to it, doesn't, it feels alien, right? It feels alien. And what I'm getting here is UFOs. I don't know if any of you have been seeing extraterrestrial ships. Sorry, extraterrestrial, um, I guess they're spaceships. I don't even know what they're called, right? I just know them as UFOs. Um, if you're having dreams of them, even connecting to um, beings from way past our planet to past the spiritual realm, um, light language, I'm getting light codes coming through and even being able to speak or understand light language. So I'm getting a development of gifts here. So there's something switching on, flipping from one to the other. So maybe there's a connection coming in that some of you are going to de develop or strengthen um, around being able to communicate or connect on a higher level, on a higher plane. This is really interesting. And the communication is definitely very strong here. There's a lot of things that are coming together here that are being put into alignment. And as they're being put into alignment, things are going to feel like they're off balance. But what's actually happening here is you're going through an experience where spirit is asking you to be an active participant in the creation of the balance that feels off balance to you right now. Okay, I hope that made sense. Like anything that is feeling off balance, you're meant to create the balance. You have to take the action in order to create that balance in your life. So what is off balance in your life if you're feeling if things are off balance? Everything is now being put into alignment through that unbalance, okay? So really interesting. And some of you are getting little bits of glimpses into your future, you're, like you're foreseeing things. And again, these are coming through dreams for a majority of you. And for others, it's through communication. And it's communication like bits and pieces of things that you hear 
throughout your day and these are things that are at a higher frequency so you're able to hear them differently so as you so for example if you're standing in a crowd you hear one person say a couple of words then you hear another person's words and another's and it makes a sentence sometimes we're not aware that that's actually happening but this is how I feel that you're you're connecting dots with communication so I don't know what this is you're gonna have to share with this with me especially if you're feeling this way this could be like song lyrics maybe there's a song or a couple of songs you've been listening to religiously maybe there's something that you're you're just really feeling good about you're feeling connected to I don't know what this is this could be like food even um, a way of life a way of being maybe this is an exercise or something I don't know what this is but there's definitely something that you're really enjoying doing you feel in alignment with like it really resonates for you and it's something new that you discovered and you're really enjoying this this is actually good for you all right so a lot of different things that are happening here big changes for you oh my goodness so I'm going to pull a bonus card from the messages from the spirits of nature oracle and read you the interpretation from the guidebook so we are getting here air raush I think that's how you say it raush no ruash air so lots of blue in this uh, image as well so some of you might be resonating with this image or air you might be an air element the number one here the number of the creator everyone this is coming in for you so you're really going through an energy right now um, it's like a wave it's a not a spiral but you can definitely feel the breeze of air in your life right now um, beginnings you're going to experience a lot of beginnings here everyone now if you're seeing the number ones again confirmation of the message of this card now some of you are looking for timing I'm getting one day one week one month and one hour around the message of this card so the Hebrew word ruach concisely and precisely describes how the spirit of air makes itself to us ruach has more than one meaning and is interpreted as either breath wind spirit or holy spirit holy breath similar to spirit you really you don't really see air yet you become aware of it when it moves either as wind or as breath wind can come as a gentle breeze with a soft caress on the skin or can be so intense and violent that it becomes destructive breath circulates the air in your body a continual reminder that you are alive whether or not you are consciously aware of breathing like wind it can be relaxed and steady or when your body is activated intense and forceful like air spirit is not invisible yet it is sorry like air spirit is not visible yet its effects can be perceived as physical manifestations in the world or as inspiration sourced from ordinarily non-visible spirit guides in fact inspiration means to breathe in spirit so the message here for you today is it's become apparent that your breath has become shallow and distilled of late often to the point where you catch yourself holding your breath correspondingly and ironically you have also noticed how you've been neglecting your spiritual practice leaving your bereft of the much needed circulation of both air and spirit the tension in your body is due to feeling overwhelmed with earthly tasks to the point of forgetting to consciously breathe and neglecting to attend to your relationship with spirit pause for a few moments focus your attention on your breath allowing it to be steady and easy notice the sensations that become apparent such as the barely discernible breeze as it enters and exits through your nose or mouth be aware of the movement of the body the muscles of your chest and abdomen that operate in practice unison to inhale and exhale this vital life force notice any areas of tension and allow that tension to slowly dissipate with each exaltation regenerate your daily spiritual practice and incorporate conscious breathing as you do so breathing exercises this is really going to be important for some of you okay so air that is your bonus card let's pull some angel numbers or one angel number a repeating number that you might be seeing in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance 
So letting go, oh my gosh, the message is so clear for you today. Letting go, if you're seeing the number 2929 anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation of the message of this card. So your losses are going to become your gains here, everyone. You have the potential to create anything you desire. Some of you are going to find yourselves starting over in life. They're wanting you to really bury the past. So bury the past here, everyone. You're on to new adventures. Life is an adventure and you're about to enter a new one. All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce to you that my sister-in-law Katomi has put together her Christmas ritual box. Now these are available right now. I have the link for these in the description box below. This is a protection box. There is a purpose behind this. It's gonna come with full instructions on how to use this kit. It comes with two candles. Each of these candles have a stone. One of the candles actually have a tassel, okay? The stones in these candles are going to be consecrated, so you're you're going to put intentions in these candles and you're going to be able to carry these stones around you after the fact. Now there's only a limited supply of these everyone so the deadline for these the last one you can order is on December the 5th and we wanted to get these out early because last year we sold out of them. So again secure yours today I've got the link for these in the description box below. All right, so before I end this video off, I just wanted to mention to everyone that I just opened my memberships page. It's been almost a month since it's been up and running. So if you're somebody that really enjoys my channel, enjoys the work that I do, and want to see more of what it is that I'm doing, you can join my membership page. Now, the first tier is open. That's at $2.99 per month. And what you get here is custom emojis that I've made for all of you myself. All right, and there's stories behind each one which I'm going to share with you throughout some posts uh, over the next little while here in the membership section of the community page. So once again, feel free to join my membership page, especially if you're wanting to support me at this time. Okay, so this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.